Amy Medford with Medford Knife and Tool. Knives on the table today are for Apache Rifle Works. They're in Comfort, Texas. Kurt and Paul are our main men there. Uh, address is 50502 uh, Interstate Highway 10 West. ApacheRifleWorks.com is the website and the telephone number is 830-995-3894. Every time I say Comfort, Texas, it makes me just want to go there. It sounds like a cool place. Um, but uh, they'll be excited to see these knives headed their way, uh, so let's do it. All right, we have a bunch of M48s. I'm going to kind of line them up here and talk about them one by one. The M48 is our newest aluminum, partial aluminum chassis knife. So it is like the Swift frame lock. It's got aluminum handle with a titanium spring, so half and half. So this one has been PVD coated on the spring, PVD clip, S35VM PVD blade, and black aluminum handle. The second one is the blue, and a brilliant blue it is. I just love that very deep sea blue. Then we have, you know, it's hard to tell. This is definitely black with a tumbled blade. This may very well be gray. The gray is just one hue less saturated than the black. Because keep in mind, these are hard anodized parts and the way that they work properly to protect the aluminum is a certain classification and that needs to be heavily saturated. So when you look at the colors here, you see they aren't light colors. They have to be deeply saturated for them to be the correct classification to do the job that they need to do. So these are all different options for the M48. And then we move on and then we move on to the Praetorian Swift Auto. It's got the button release, the slide mechanism that locks it into place so you can't accidentally deploy it in the down position. It's now open for deployment. And this is a full aluminum chassis knife. So hunter green handles, PVD clip, hardware, and blade. Super cool. 187 flipper. Coyote G10 hand. If you're gonna have Coyote, this is the way to do it. All blacked out knife, flamed hardware for a little bit of color, PVD spring, standard flamed clip, not brushed and flamed or it would have a lot of shine to it. So it's a little bit more subdued, low vis. And I love the uh, flamed spacers in between. That's a little bit of punch of color. And then we have a 187 flipper tumbled blade with bronze handles. We don't offer tumbled blade as a standard offering on the website because D2 is a tool steel. It does have carbon in it and it is more prone to rusting than stainless. So just know that uh, with a tumbled finish, let me just spit on your knives there, people. With the tumbled finish, it is a little bit more susceptible. It just means you need to oil it, take care of it. Standard clip, bronze handles, tumbled blade. And I have a slim midi Marauder reverse tuxedo. Looks like an old finish. No, I think that's the new. Tumbled handles, PVD drop point, S35 blade, PVD hardware, and clip. Reverse tuxedo on the slim midi drop point. Micro Praetorian G, S35 drop point, PVD coated. Bronze hardware goes really nicely with the OD Green G10 handle. And the bronze spring, oh, nice, with the PVD clip. I love that two-tone look. The bronze screws with the PVD clip, super cool. And then the last knife on the table, Praetorian Genesis TS35 tumbled PVD Tonto blade handle spring with flamed hardware and a flamed clip. And we cannot tumble PVD the breaker. You cannot tumble PVD the hardware. So the only parts that we can do would be the larger ones that can easily be put in and taken out of the tumbling system. And I am gonna hijack this video just for a minute to talk to Justin out there. Justin, be patient. Your Praetorian tie is on its way very soon. Your lovely wife, Christy, did the job. She did it well. Have faith in her. Be patient, young Skywalker. And that's my hijack. Back to Apache Rifle Works. All right, you guys, these will head out in the mail today. So by the time this video is up, I'm sure that Kurt and Paul will have the knives on hand and ready to sell. So reach out to them, see what you get your hands on. Keep watching the videos. Justin, take a break. Until the next time, I'm out.